afternoon folks welcome back to the farm beautiful fall afternoon monday too i took monday off work my boss was kind of a little bit concerned about that he said why would you want to take a monday off why wouldn't you take a friday off well because to hell with mondays mondays suck fridays fridays are usually a pretty good day i doesn't mind being around the office on friday but anyways big afternoon this afternoon uh first things first i'm gonna drive over see if we can fetch the horses up and put them in their little paddock the farrier's coming tomorrow and thanksgiving week is coming up i took thanksgiving week off of work because well the barn we started the barn we built the barn never finished the barn so i'm gonna go around over to emerson trail building supplies and pick up a whole bunch of rough cut lumber to put in the four foot tall kick plate in the barn and then yeah, we'll see. Probably around sometime in November. I'll probably string some lighting and things like that. It's not going to be as finished as I'd hope to have it done this summer. But you know what? Rome wasn't built in a day and there's only so many hours in that day. So we just get done what we get done some days. Actually glad I didn't uh, <clears throat> run over and just blindly open the gate. Because as you can see, there's no, there's no fence here. <laughs> we had Brennan stop by the other day with his bobcat and do the landscape and just to kind of tidy everything up before winter in order for him to get in there and get access to that big giant dirt pile that was there. I had to tear the fence down. So if I would have opened that gate, well, it would have been an adventure. There would have been, we'd have, English would have been a second language if we would have done that, that's for sure. I need quite a bit of lumber today. I'm gonna need, what is it? 32 two by six 12s and 80 two by six 10s. So. It's gonna be a full trailer. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can fit it all on, but I might have to make two trips here. I made it back from the lumber yard. If you're wondering what 1600 bucks looks like, that's it right there. That's 32 two by six 12s and 96 two by 10, or two by six 10s, sorry. So there's a few extra. I only needed 80 of the two by two by six 10s, but uh, I figure, well, I'm probably gonna use them anyways. I got some other little projects I'm gonna need some wood for. And, price of wood's probably not going to go down so while I'm there it's probably cheaper for me to buy the lift anyways so just got the whole lift easy peasy nobody had to do any manual labor everything was done with the loader so we just came down to the field with the side by side dropped off a couple of salt licks for the cows they thought I'd check on the compost pile so this is this is last year's bedding that came out of the bedding ground stack it all up and this stuff right here is two year old and then the last little bit we've obviously been shopping there that's uh like three and even four year old but i'd have a look in here because i'm going to take some of this once the garden's all harvested and work some of this stuff back in and you can see it's not fully broken down yet there's still quite a bit of organic material in there and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that uh getting worked in with the clay because sometimes a little bit of that uh decomposition process creates uh like a little bit of acid helps bring down the clay a little bit and, and that's really what it needs it needs a little bit more organic material not just the black dirt to get swept away every time the wind blows it's kind of integrated in there so first things first got to get the barn done got to get the potatoes out of the ground and then we'll get this stuff in there what are you standing on charlotte standing on poop standing on poop 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 I was pooping on the dude. Poop, 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 poop. I'm pooping everywhere. Poop, 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 poop. So 
now with the farrier coming tomorrow horse and the donkey of course when I, when I was away at the hardware store it went down to the far south end of the quarter so I didn't think that one through I should have caught them when they were right there I guess but anyways down they're down here I have a bucket it's got nothing it's got actually got the, uh, the bees nest that I found yesterday in there I'm gonna try and trick them follow me all the way up that hill to the top of the by the barn and then uh, and then I'll pen them up for the farrier tomorrow back up from the field by the house here now and I actually just saw a back truck drive by so I phoned the neighbor I said oh hopefully your basement's not flooded he said no no just was replacing the lid on the septic tank and noticed it was pretty full so we had a truck come out and out interesting because today I was going to phone for a back truck so why not split the travel cost right so put the back truck in here you're going to suck out ours I think there's some guys say you should do this every year maybe every two years I don't know what the magic number is we bought the biggest septic tank you could possibly get to put in there and it's been four years now we haven't done anything to it maybe that's really good or maybe that's really bad I don't know but anyways there's a guy that's 300 yards away might as well have him come do it at the same time. All the septic guys set to his job. Where are we going, Charlotte? To dance class. To dance class. Let's go.